July and the Tour de France starts in Futuroscope with a prologue of 6.3 km. Greg Lamont is using his new Scott Aero bars and finishes second behind Thierry Marie. The next day, Lamont is wearing the green jersey in the morning stage, but the whole peloton is surprised by a four-man breakaway. Franz Maassen wins the stage, but more important is a 10-minute lead of Steve Bauer in the GC. Can he win the Tour de France? The weather is bad during the first week. Rain and crosswinds are breaking the peloton into pieces. But Le Mans is always racing in front of the pack. On the contrary, Laurent Fignon is having problems. He crashes a few times and abandons in the fifth stage. The first big test is the time trial from Vitel to Epinal. Greg is finishing fifth behind Raul Alcala, who beats him by more than two minutes. Can he win the Tour de France? The next days, the peloton is heading into the Alps. First, Steve Bauer loses his yellow jersey to Ronan Pansek, Greg's teammate. In the stage to Alpe d'Huez, Greg is not allowed to attack his own teammate and has to sprint for victory on top of the climb. Gianni Bugno is just a few inches faster than Greg, who crashed earlier in the race. In the time trial to Villard de Lens, Greg finishes again at a fifth place behind Eric Brueking. Claudio Chiappucci takes the yellow jersey from Pansek. Will he win the Tour de France? Halfway the Tour, the gap with Chiappucci is still more than seven minutes, but the next day, Lamont attacks in the stage to Saint Etienne. Chiappucci is dropped, and Lamont takes more than five minutes back in the GC. The Pyrenees will decide who will win this Tour de France. In the stage to Luzardiden, Le Mans attacks again and Chiappucci is left behind. Indrain wins the stage, but at the end, Le Mans is only 5 seconds short to take the yellow jersey. He's now the favorite to win this Tour. Everybody is expecting Greg to take the jersey the next day, but on top of the Col de Marie Blanc, he has a flat. No team car and no teammates, and Greg loses two minutes on Chiappucci, who is commanding his team to ride full gas. The chase is on, and with the help of his team, Lamont rejoins the group with Chiappucci. Greg isn't happy at all with the way the Italian handled this situation. The last time trial at Lac de Vassifier must be Lamont's yellow day. He's not winning the stage, but he's more than two minutes faster then Chiappucci, and finally takes the yellow jersey. Le Mans is proud to show his yellow jersey on the Champs-Élysées in Paris. Third to the France victory and a lot of credit for his team. Who knows how many tours he can win in the next years. <laughs>